If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gatling series. In this episode one, we are going to get started with Gatling. Throughout the series, we are going to see the basic, intermediate and advanced concepts of Gatling. My objective is to enable you in performance testing using Gatling tool. So Gatling is one of the open source load testing solution. It is widely known among developers and testers. It has around 5.5 thousand stars on uh, GitHub. And if you are into load testing as a code, then you can definitely check it out the Gatling capabilities. Gatling has two flavors. One is the open source version and Gatling Enterprise. Again, Gatling Enterprise has two flavors, which is self-hosted and cloud. The stable version at this time of recording is 3.7.6, which got released in March 2022. It is licensed under Apache 2.0 and it is very powerful for the HTTP protocol and also supports other protocols such as JMS and it is written in uh, Scala and it comes with built-in uh, recorder. So this recorder will help you to get started to capture your business transactions and you can convert into uh, Java, uh, Scala or Kotlin. How Gatling differs from the other tools? The core difference is the Gatling backend is Netty and Akka. So Netty is a asynchronous event driven network application framework for high performance protocol servers and clients. And Akka is a highly concurrent distributed resilient message driven applications for Java and Scala. So all the virtual users will be orchestrated using Akka and it treats virtual users as messages. So that is why it is pure resource friendly, which means within a single machine, you can simulate thousands of virtual users without any resource constraint. So that is the core difference between the existing tools in the market and Gatling. So is Gatling for you? So that is the next big question you need to ask. Gatling doesn't have any GUI. It will not come with point and click because it gels with the IDE, IntelliJ or VS Code or your favorite editor. And if you want to define your load testing, you have, you have to write code. So all you have to define is your scenario and of course the script and it doesn't use any uh, threads or virtual users because it treats virtual users as a messages. And if you want to simulate uh, millions of uh, transactions, then no need to maintain a very big uh, server farm. Instead, you can uh, maintain somewhat optimal number of uh, servers to simulate those load. Again, these are the subset of the uh, some of the parameters which you should consider before you selecting the tool. But again, it differs uh, based on your uh, business purpose and the, the uh, skill set of your team. And uh, there are various other factors involved before you select any tool. So I'm not going to compare Gatling with any other tool because every tool has its own uh, pros and cons and it purely depends on what you need uh, for your performance testing. So to get started with uh, Gatling, there are uh, a couple of prerequisites. One is you have to install OpenJDK uh, 8, 11 or 17 version, 64 bits, a uh, long-term uh, support uh, versions. And Gatling 3.7 uh, supports uh, Java, Kotlin and Scala. So earlier it was there was no support for Java but it's got recently added which is a really uh, good feature because most of the uh, developers or most of the ecosystem are in Java and if you are an uh, expert in Java you can easily uh, get started with Gatling without any learning other uh, DSL uh, language. So this is the uh, main uh, prerequisites and of course it supports uh, Windows, uh, Linux, and Mac OS. So based on your operating system, you can just download and then you can get started. So to download, just head to gatling.io and extract the uh, zip file. So in case of uh, in Windows, uh, make sure you are not keeping the extracted contents under the uh, programs uh, or program files folder because of some restrictions. And if you're a developer, definitely you can check it out the build tools such as Maven and uh, Gatling SBD for Scala. So this will uh, gels with the uh, existing uh, builder tools. There are official plugins available. So throughout this uh, 
course we are going to uh, use intellij uh, community edition and then uh, we are going to see all the examples uh, with uh, java and with uh, gradle so to get started with uh, gradle you have to add this uh, uh, gradle id with the version uh, optional version 3.7.6 so that we can uh, use the uh, packages so now it's time for a quick demo in this demo we are going to see how you can download and uh, we can we are going to see the folder structure just go to gatling.io and here you can learn more about uh, gatling products and here just click on the uh, open source button so this will take you to the open source page and if you hit download now it will download the uh, zip file and if you want to uh, see some information about the version here 3.7.6 number of downloads license details and other features i have already downloaded and i have kept it in my uh, c drive uh, tools on this folder so this catling comes with uh, around five folders bin conf uh, library uh, results uh, target user files so results file will be generated once you have executed a couple of uh, simulations and bin folder will have your uh, back file and shell file if you are in mac os you can use dot uh, shell or uh, linux and if you are in a windows you can use the uh, bat file so here we have recorder.bat if you launch this batch file you will get the recorder ui and to run the simulations using the sample uh, example uh, demo simulations you can use the gatling.bat in windows and if you just come out of this folder you can see the conf folder so con folder will have all the configuration related to gatling and uh, akka and also the uh, recorder.conf and library again all the dependencies here you can see the gatling dependency core files core jars uh, and then uh, you can see uh, james path so all the dependencies are available inside the uh, library folder so do not delete do not rename any of the folder structure and results will have the uh, results uh, uh, simulation results so whenever you run some simulation all the results will be available in the respective folder and also the log file now the target again if you run your uh, gradle uh, uh, tasks all these uh, ta classes uh, test classes everything will be available in the uh, target folder and user files uh, you can see the uh, resources so the resources basically if you want to keep some uh, images or some csv file you can keep it in the resources folder and all the simulations will go here so this uh, computer database uh, it comes with the download package basically it has uh, a demo or simulations so these are the folder structure uh, of uh, catling so in next video we are going to see how you can get started with the uh, recording using the recorder.bat and then we are going to uh, see how you can get started with recording setting up the proxy and how you can see the uh, output thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel